If you are a professional or highly skilled candidate and you need a job offer, but you are getting no replies when you apply for job ads online, then this video is for you. I'll show you how to be headhunted and land multiple interviews with employers over the next 30 to 60 days without the pain of rejections and applying for jobs online. Now, I'm Zarelsi, an international career strategist to international candidates, also a career coach and migration mentor. During the last six years, I have helped over 300 top candidates land their dream jobs, even internationally, without relying on a CV alone and without applying to job ads online. In this video, I'll walk you through the complete system with all the information on how I have helped those top candidates even internationally so you can take away that information and implement it yourself and land that international interviews without applying for job ads online. Before I show you what you need to do to get headhunted and land those interviews, let me quickly show you some examples of how others have done this. This will give you a good idea of how powerful what I'm going to show you is. So let's have a look at others in the same program and what they have experienced in implementing what I'm going to show you instead of applying for job ads online. This is um, Eugene, his father, Fred, actually sent through this testimonial. He says, after we had our job search strategy consultation with you, we started implementing what you told us, created the LinkedIn profiles and CVs as per your course. And we were totally surprised by a job offer for my son, a millwright and industrial mechanic from a company in Christchurch. They found my son on his new LinkedIn profile and invited him to apply for a job there. He progressed through the interview and testing stages quickly and now has received his job offer. That's just awesome. This is Johan. Johan was in Singapore when he started implementing this training that I'm only going to present to you in a few minutes. He says, I started on the Q Jumper Factor program on 3 June, started applying everything. On 7 July, I was contacted by a hiring manager for a role that was not advertised. In other words, he never applied online. And then he said he met that person in a group and his visa was approved on 28th August. I do not think everyone's journey will be as quick, but I can tell you now, I have still had no positive responses from the roles I applied for, but I have since had three shoulder taps from my network. That just shows that he's implemented this without applying for job ads online. This is Rob. Rob came from South Africa to Australia, and it was just at the end of COVID, so in November 2021. And he never applied for jobs online. He implemented the same strategies and said, this week my LinkedIn profile filled with messages and shoulder taps. In other words, he was headhunted or approached by several Australian employers. And obviously he has signed an offer and he's since in Australia and has um, applied for residence as well. And this is Wagner. Wagner says, I would like to thank you for the information you provided us. The information we did had led me to being shoulder tapped last year. In other words, never applied for job ads online. They also received their job offer from implementing what I'm going to show you next. Now you might be asking, why is it so difficult to just land a job by applying to job ads online? And there are several reasons. I'm going to show you two reasons, especially for international clients, that makes it so difficult and so ineffective when you're applying for job ads online. The first is what we call the hiring funnel. And the hiring funnel utilizes AI technology like ATS or applicant tracking systems to track your application and really filter through those applications that they do want the hiring manager to see. So through the hiring funnel, you have one to 2% chance of getting through no matter how good your CV or your application is. To illustrate that point, it's not just me making this up. Let me show you what it looks like. Here is Dr. John Sullivan, a professor and author, corporate speaker and advisor, and an internationally known um, HR thought leader from Silicon Valley who specializes in providing bold and high business impact talent management solutions. And he describes this hiring funnel. He says in recruiting, we have what's known as the hiring funnel or yield model for every job, which helps recruiting leaders understand how many total applications they need to generate in order to get a single hire. As an applicant, this funnel reveals your chances. 
of success at each step of the hiring process. For the specific case of an online job posting, an average of a thousand individuals will see a job post. 200 will begin the application process. 100 will complete the application. 75 of those resumes will be screened out by either the ATS or recruiter. 25 resumes will be seen by the hiring manager. 5 to 6 will be invited for an interview. 1 to 3 of them will be invited back for a final interview. 1 will be offered that job and 80% of those receiving an offer will accept it. In other words, your chances are about 1 to 3% to get that job offer. You have about 5 to 6% to get to an interview, but that is still small. So what I'm going to show you is completely different to applying online and completely avoiding this obstacle. The other obstacle or challenge that has just come to light and that has appeared in the recent few months or even a year is the way in which companies have started changing the way that they recruit. So to illustrate that in a really short way, I'm not going to take you through all the detail. Let me show you an article that was written in October 2023, so very recently for New Zealand. And it's about how firms using resumes for recruitment risk falling behind. In other words, it's saying that if you are a company or an organization or employer who still rely on resumes and applications of job ads online, you're falling behind in the way that you are going to recruit and hire people. But this gives us an insight into how the world of work is changing and how companies are changing the way in which they are hiring. That means we need to adapt to that way with different strategies of being able to get through to these companies. The main part of this um, article tells us that the alternative which to applying online and job ads online and resumes by hiring is skills based hiring where candidates are screened and based on their aptitude to perform the job by going through a series of skills-based tests or exercises. In other words, what they're looking for is proof of your skill or value. Remember this, write this down. What I'm going to show you and how you're going to land your job is going to be based on that principle. According to research, 73% of firms are now opting for this route, a jump in 17% from 2022. What it also is saying is that skills-based hiring has been around for a fraction of the time that resumes have. We are seeing a tipping point that could mark the death of a resume as a way to get work in the next two to three years. That is really profound. It just means that your CV has become worthless. So what I'm going to show you a reason, there are reasons for this new way in which you are going to be very successful to landing that job if you don't want to apply for jobs online. And the main, that, that brings us to the aim of this whole thing. We call it a system or a way or an approach, whatever you want to call it. I call it the ecosystem. It is a whole approach in which I have helped these people um, land their dream jobs, even offshore. But it has a reason. There's a why behind it. It has an aim. And the aim is to get through to these targeted employers. In other words, you can't just rely on applying for job ads online with where anyone is, is um, advertising a job. You need a really, really good structured way in which to get through to targeted employers. It means it's a structured targeted approach. It's also a way to become the preferred candidate. That's what we want to happen. We want to be the only candidate, like you saw in those testimonials that I've presented to you. Those people were often the only candidate, so they were in the best bargaining position. And that's what you want. You want to be approached or headhunted so that you can be in the best bargaining position and negotiate the best offer, whether you're local or international. And also the main aim of this whole system or process or approach that I'm going to show you to take, like the other guys have done, is to do it without having to apply for jobs online. Why? Because applying for jobs online has so many obstacles, challenges and um, things that will prevent you from getting through and making your chances 1 to 3% to get through. So here we go. This is the system or the approach that I have used with them. So first we need to talk about targets. In other words, 
who we're going to um, approach and why are we going to do this? What are we going to approach? What is the whole, whole aim of targets? Targets means we need to really define the jobs that we want to pursue. We really need to define the employers we want to work for or want to pursue as the perfect employers. And tools, we're going to look at why do we need different tools instead of relying on a CV or a resume to give these employers. Because in targets, we need to define what the employers want. In other words, the requirements of the jobs and how to get in front of them. In other words, where do they hang out? How do they recruit? Because we know so few jobs get advertised online. That's a hidden job market. And then in strategies, we're going to look at how do we get through to them? What do we actually do if we know the information about them and gathered the business intelligence and targets, we have the tools to give them. How are we going to get these nice things in front of them? So let's go back and we start with targets. Like I say, in targets, the whole aim is business intelligence, gathering business intelligence and information about what do they want. You can't give someone some, something unless you know what they want. Here we're going to define your career niche. Your career niche is something that you're really good at that differentiate yourself from other people. And that's what you will use to rise above others to make you stand out. Job targets means we need to define the exact jobs that you can target. If you're an immigrant, that will come from your eligibility. If you're a local, you need to really define which jobs you're going to target so that you can match them. Write that down. Matching is absolutely crucial. So we need to look for the job requirements. And in employer targets, we need to define and find the 50 or 100 perfect employers that will be the perfect ones that you can work for. If you're an immigrant, they need to be sponsors or accredited employers. If you're a local, that can be anyone. Or if you have a certain kind of visa as an, uh, an immigrant. But we need to find those employers. We need to find the jobs and we need to find your career niche. That requires a whole lot of research, but that makes up the targets, it makes up the basis, it makes up our business intelligence to know what we need to match. Then we can move on and create the tools to match it with. In other words, if we know what they want, we have something to give them. This is where we're going to create a CV or resume, yes, but it's going to form a very small part of your overall strategy. And it's not the normal generic CV or resume that is a statement of your career history, experience and skills. No, this CV or resume will match the requirements of the jobs and match what the employers want. Then we're going to go to LinkedIn. Now, the misconception that most people have is that your LinkedIn profile is an online CV or resume, and that's the biggest mistake. In your LinkedIn profile, you will need it as a tool to become visible to those employers and also as a tool to build an audience to put this amazing profile that you're going to build in front of. That's the main components of becoming visible, having an audience and having a profile that is just much more than what other people have with just a CV. For that, you're going to need a star profile. Remember just earlier I said to you, write down, you need to demonstrate your value. That's what you will need with a, with a star profile. That's what you will need to do. You're going to create a star profile that says, here is the proof of my skills. Here is how much value I can deliver. And therefore, you don't need to rely on a CV to get through to interviews because you're going to give them this before you get to an interview. We're also going to create things like resume videos because obviously employees will want to know your personality, your character, your enthusiasm, your interest and your communication skills. That makes up 85% of what they want. And that's the only reason to get it through to them before you get to an interview. Remember your chances of getting to an interview with applying online is so small. So we need to do things to be able to get us to an interview quicker. And also content. Content is there to create likability, credibility, trust and build relationships or influence an audience. And that is exceptionally important if you want to rise above other people who just have a CV and are going to put that CV online. So what will make you different? A star profile, resume videos and content and also utilizing your LinkedIn profile to make that visible to your curated employers that you have found in the first bubble. 
So thirdly, we need the strategies to get this through to these employees that we have now found because we know what they want, we know what to give them, how do we get it in front of them? Now you've heard about the hidden job market and how difficult it is for you to know which jobs are out there if you're only applying for jobs online. Jobs online make up about 20% of or less of the hidden job market anywhere in the world and some industries even fewer. So how will you get in front of those employers? There are other strategies to implement. Number one is direct approaches. It has about 40% success rate. And it means that you just go directly to those employers who you found. But you will not be applying for jobs online at those employers. That is not the direct approach strategy. It's something completely different. Networking and relationship building has 60 to 80% success rate. So many of the candidates I work with have implemented that strategy. And from that comes referrals and recommendations. Influencer strategies have a 100% success rate because guess what? You're irresistible. You are the only preferred candidate. They will literally hunt you down. You have multiple shoulder taps and multiple approaches like you saw in some of those examples that you sh that I've shown you. Yes, there are other strategies as well, but these make up some of the strategies which you can implement instead of applying for job ads online. The direct approaches is fairly simple, extremely effective, 40% success rate, networking relationship a little, more, a little bit more advanced but much more effective and influencer strategies are the most effective but also the most advanced. So if you now know that what they want, in other words, you have your target set up and you know what to give them, in other words, you have your tools to give to them, you are well presented. That is where you won't get anything else more than you know you don't meet the requirements. Those kind of things will disappear. And also, if you have the targets and you know how to get through to these employees and match what they want, you have clarity. You will pursue a certain list of employees with specific strategies instead of applying for job ads online. And if you have the tools and the strategies that other people don't have, guess what? You dominate this niche. You dominate the market. You have people headhunting you, approaching you, you will have multiple approaches like you saw in some examples. I can show you two or three dozen more of those examples and bore you all day long. The point is, this is the whole system. This is the whole approach that I have implemented with my VIP clients to help them land multiple offers in 30 to 60 days and get multiple approaches from employers. So, your next question is, do you want to do this all by yourself or do you want me to do it for you? And yes, I can do this for you. Me and my team can do this for you. So instead of you sitting there trying to find these jobs, trying to find the jobs, trying to define your career niche, trying to find your employers, we can actually do that work for you. Instead of you sitting there trying to figure out how to write your strategic CV, how to create your LinkedIn profile and get in touch with those employers and build your audience, instead of trying to create a style profile and resume videos not knowing what to do, we can do this for you. And yes, you will have to implement some of the strategies by yourself because in some of those strategies, nobody can do it for you. But here's the thing. What if I sit next to you and I implement these strategies with you while you're doing it, telling you exactly what to do. Click here, click there or watch over my shoulder and you implement this. And I sit next to you and help you implement this until you have your job offer. Now that you know how all this works, would you like to have almost everything that I showed you and explained done for you? If you're ready to let me do this for you and work with me until you land that job offer, there is a link below this video where you can book a call with me to get started immediately. During that call, we'll analyze your position and your situation, your goals, your preferences and your unique challenges. And we will then devise a really structured plan customized to your individual situation to get started. I'll also explain how your access to me and my personal assistance through this whole process and plan will work until you land that job offer. So book that call now so we can get started. I can't wait to meet you and help you secure those interviews 
and your new exciting role soon.